in the spring of 1987, Norfolk and Western Class A steam locomotive number 1218 was born again. Through the efforts of Robert B. Clater and the Norfolk Southern Corporation, this beautiful 2664 is back in steam, proudly displaying the handiwork of the men of N&W's Roanoke shops. She dates from a glorious time in American railroading, the modern era of big steam. Her contemporaries were the Challengers and Big Boys on the Union Pacific and the Alleghenies on the rival C&O. The A's were immense, almost 122 feet long and weighing 476 tons fully fueled. These single expansion monsters could muster a tractive effort of 114,000 pounds and consumed seven tons of coal and 58 tons of water per hour. They had an appetite indeed. But the fuel was readily available just about everywhere in Norfolk and Western country. Coal was the principal reason for the road's existence. Because of this, NW management kept operating the A's and the even bigger Y6B class locomotives long after other railroads had moved on to diesels. And there lies one of the things that makes the Norfolk and Western's steam locomotives unique. For while the Challengers and the Big Boys were built by the American Locomotive Company and the Allegheny by the Lima Locomotive Works, the A's, J's, and Y's were built by the N and W to their own design by their own craftsmen. The Roanoke shops were equipped with all the heavy machinery needed to manufacture these engines. Huge steam hammers which forged the rods for the J-Class 484 that could withstand 100 mile per hour speeds. The bull riveter which drove the hundreds of rivets which held the boiler courses together. And of course, the heavy cranes, which could lift an entire locomotive with ease. 43 Class A's were built at the N&W's Roanoke shops between 1936 and 1950. They were among the first of a new breed, roller-bearing articulated locomotives that were capable of passenger train speeds. The 1218 left the shops in June of 1943 after a record-breaking construction schedule. Contributing to the war effort, she handled time freights with passenger-like precision out of Portsmouth, Ohio. The men who ran these engines were some of the best railroaders in the business and could make time over the road. An A-class locomotive could handle a 13,000-ton coal train at 42 miles per hour, and with a 5,200-ton manifest train, could run as fast as 65. As a class, the A's worked an unheard of 7,500 miles per month, due in large measure to the efficient design of the locomotive and the unique steam servicing facilities at Roanoke. In the 40s and 50s, the Blue Ridge Mountains rang with the sounds of the N&W's finest steam power every day. The J's on the Powhatan Arrow, the Y's on the endless coal trains, and of course, the A's on the point of the hot shots. Today, the 1218 is the only remaining example of the Class A's. She was saved from the scrapper's torch in 1959 and was pressed into stationary boiler service for Union Carbide in Charleston, West Virginia. It was a major job, believe me. On April 21, 1987,
set to work. They got their tools out, they looked at it, they pulled off the, the necessary bolts, and they said, this bearing is shot. We've got to do something. Departing Roanoke, Frank put on a fabulous show in the classic Norfolk and Western style.
falls early in the short days of January. The train made an interesting sight as she passed through the darkened town of Montgomery.